hello beautiful people wonderful people you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is miriam a youtuber based in just plateau state and to my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back and thank you for always supporting me please do well to subscribe if you're yet to subscribe like and share this video as you all can see i am dressed in a very beautiful attire and this attire you're seeing is the Biram cultural attire and I'm going to be showing you people a little bit about the Biram culture. The Biram is actually the largest ethnic group we have in Plateau State. So I'm going to show you a little bit of our culture, the food we eat and all of that. But I'm not going to be doing this alone. With me, I have a sister of mine who is more exposed to the culture. So she's going to show us because I'm also learning, she's going to be showing us a little about the culture. So, show. What is it that you show? What is that on a grace gang? Massa that you show in more, you know, didn't you rat the dab where now what you in vent mode? Now we're in your appear, pierce the dab where now what check you have the dab where now what you in vent mode. We are here again to show you the significance of the Birom cultural attire. See, she's wearing the crown. And the crown, we have two colors on it. We have the green and the red. The green signifies the cactus. As you can see, we use the cactus to shield, to guide the house. It's our gate. We use it to protect a home. As you can see, the hut, the house behind it. And the red, the red, as you can see on it, is tea. And that tea is the shield of protection in Birom. We, we hide us from the enemies. And you can see she's wearing, she's using this, the kadus. we use it for dancing. This kadus is, we are using it to dance whenever we are going to, for celebration. And we use, this you can see is kanchong. This is kanchong, they can't need to drink water from it. As you can see, she has jagawa on her leg. This jagawa is for dancing, when you are dancing is to be shaking is to be bringing sound as you can hear the sound so this is our fashion our beauty as we are using it for our culture we are going to be cooking hmm, our delicacy you guys this food eh, is what is keeping our people healthy our our older ones are not even getting old they are still getting stronger and younger so if you want to be strong and healthy and look so young come along with us as we prepare this delicacy it is actually called tere so we're about to start the process of making the porridge that is tere we are going to be showing you people the, the ingredients and the names of the ingredients our local green beans this one gives the food a very good smell And this is funyo. We call it acha. Or chun in our dialect. It has a lot of health benefits. As you can see, we have different varieties of vegetables here. And these vegetables are actually medicinal. They contain different vitamins and that is why this meal is actually recommended for pregnant women or breastfeeding mothers or even someone who is sick you know when you take this meal you feel strong and healthy again So first, we put our pot of water on fire and allow it to boil. While we wait for our water to boil, we cut and wash our vegetables and keep them ready.
So next we add our pumpkin to the boiled water. Next we add our local green beans. so guys thanks for watching see you on my next one please do well to subscribe if you're yet to subscribe thank you bye